In this video, you'll get the solution for plotting many data points that could mask each other. With a large data set, or with many data points having the same value, the resulting graph can be misleading because it doesn't convey the true number of data points plotted. Graphical elements will hide or mask each other. This is called overplotting. We're going to see how to slightly jitter points to minimize overplotting. Open Activity 0303 in R Studio. Run the first nine lines of the code. Notice that with NRO MPEG, we're expecting 234 data points to appear on the graph. We plotted the consumption in city and on highway for each of the 234 cars in the dataset. How many data points do you see on the plot? Certainly fewer than 234. This is because the reported consumptions have limited number of values, so cars having the same values for both city and highway end up on top of each other. To minimize this, we can use the parameter position with the function position jitter to randomly jitter the point. Let's see how this is done. Run the second ggplot command. With position jitter width is 0.1, we randomly move each point by a small amount horizontally. The amount of jittering should be moderate, otherwise the position of the point will be so different from the original value that the graph will be misleading. You can also use the aesthetics alpha to make the point slightly transparent so that they cannot hide each other. Set it to a number between 0 and 1, with 0 being completely transparent and 1 being completely opaque. You can now see most of the 234 points and have a better sense of how many cars are represented. We saw how to use position jitter to avoid overplotting by randomly moving the data, but without producing a misleading graph. In the next video, we'll see how to easily generate plots for subsets of the data.